Many of us marvel at the making of a ceramic pot. We can appreciate what is happening right before our eyes between the artist's hands. But once their work is fired and glazed, we tend to need reassurance when answering the question, what makes a good pot? Whether you are inspecting the floor motif of Newcomb Pottery artworks or a ceramic object in the gift shop, here is a simple guide to help you think like a potter. For this exercise, look around your home for a ceramic vessel. Handmade is best to hold or touch while considering these five points of pottery design. Is the surface of your object rough or smooth? Does the texture enhance or take away from your experience? Is it too heavy or too lightweight for its size? Does the weight affect how the object sits or stands? What is the function of your object? If it is used for consumption, is there a handle? If there is a handle, how does it fit in your hand? Is it comfortable or awkward to hold? Has the potter left finger impressions? Does the pot display ribbing patterns from being thrown on the wheel? Or when you run your fingers over the outer surface of the object, do you detect a continuous line? Most manufactured objects have a continuous line from the casting process. Most flaws are visual. Do you see cracking, flaking, bubbling, or tiny glaze holes known as pocking? Also, gently flick the rim of your object and listen. Is the resulting sound low or high? If the sound's flat, there may be a hidden crack, whereas a high pitch indicates no structural flaws.